Okay, today we're going to make something really interesting and it has something to do with dates. Now we're going to make date paste and I'm going to show you how to do this in about a minute or less. So this is very simple. I'm just going to pitch your dates and you're going to toss them into the thermal mix here. That's about um, a cup of dates or roughly 8 to 10 medium sized medjool dates. What you want to do is you want to just set the timer for about 2 minutes. Uh, or I was saying a minute but this is about 2 minutes. It's very simple. You don't have to do much except set the timer. We're going to set it to about level. And we're going to set the heat to about we're going to set the heat to 160. Now, here's something that's really interesting about raw foodies that you probably don't know. Uh, whenever you set the heat to raw food, uh, it doesn't matter if you set it beyond 115 degrees, so long as it doesn't stay there for a long time. So by me doing this, I'm actually just creating heat within the product that's not really destroying the enzymes. The molecules are just uh, ex getting really excited right now and what happens is the sugars in the dates are becoming more of a paste. And you're going to see that. Alright. Alright, and you're going to see the final product here. What we're going to do now is we're going to toss in a little bit of water. And this is going to give the dates. This is going to give the dates some more depth. And it's going to make it more. It's going to make it really easy to, uh, to get a paste. Here we go. is the water is going to evaporate and what you're going to have left is just dates. It's really interesting. You're going to have something really amazing here. Alright. So, what I'm going to show you next is going to be our amazing date paste, which we are going to pass through a fine mesh screen, like so. This is really cool. It's really awesome. So there you go. Freshly squeezed dates. Nothing but the date in here.